Seth Green back in. He keeps it, plunges ahead, and he is in for the touchdown. His seventh rushing score this year. What a find that has been to put him in that position. He can pick up a first down at the three. Morgan looking in zone, right to the chest, caught touchdown. Touchdown strike for eight yards to score. Gophers back on top. And right when we were talking about him, Tyler Johnson, the conference's second leading receiver. And boy, this is not an easy throw. Tanner Morgan ends up rolling around to his right a little bit, throwing back to his left. But the route by Tyler Johnson is absolutely outstanding. He pushes for width on the corner. After the switch release, you watch right here. Watch him push for width, put his foot in the ground, and come back in. And Rashad Bateman does a really nice job of clearing out that inside throwing lane and moving that inside safety to give a nice throwing lane. Of course, Bryce Williams started the game, but the last couple of series or drives has been almost exclusively Brooks. Morgan, a pass complete. First down, big field ahead. How far can he go? Tripped up. And a second catch tonight from Johnson, the first to touchdown. This time nearly a game breaker. Pick up a 51. Well, we knew he'd explode eventually. He has back-to-back-to-back 100-yard -to -back -to -back games coming into this game. And this truly is an RPO scheme right here. The linebacker steps up from the, play, from, the, from the run fake, and they're able to hit Tyler Johnson right behind that linebacker that vacates that void, and he takes care of the rest. That's a big-time play. The sideline, but they're trying to get that ball off really quick right now. The pass right to the numbers again, and in for the touchdown. Second touchdown strike, and both have gone the way of Tyler Johnson. One head on the punt. Ooh, blocked. And smashed at the 30. So far today, we've mentioned the special teams miscues for Indiana, but we've also mentioned the energy with which Minnesota is playing. And boy, are they flying around tonight on the defensive side of the ball, and now in special teams, creating a game-changing play and regaining possession right around the 25-yard line. Back to the arms of Brooks. He springs free, and he's in for the touchdown, his first of the season. those eyes down the field on receivers. He's always trying to extend plays to throw. Does so here, and he finds the end zone tie Fry Fogle. His second touchdown catch this year, good for 37 yards. And it's good to see the Indiana offense elect to take these shots. We saw the one earlier with Donovan Hale. Good call by the official again at 29. Scott up the middle, touchdown Hoosiers. What a ball game. Boy, credit to this Indiana squad for fighting back the way that they have. And the catalyst for this was the turnovers by Minnesota. Turnovers, especially in the fourth quarter, when you have a lead like that, completely change the game. Try to tie it here on the two-point attempt. And one-on-one -on -one up top with Donovan Hale. He is typically their red zone target. Ian Westbrook. Looking right away to Hale, and Hale secures it, and this game is tied. And it's not just him, the entire Gophers offense. The pass on first down, he was a deep, looking for a man, in stride, Gophers are going to the house. Rashad Bateman, 67 yards, and a backbreaker. We talked about them trying to get Tanner Morgan comfortable. And Kirk Sharaka identifies a matchup in the slot with Rashad Bateman on Jawan Burgess. And Jawan Burgess st stands flat-footed at about 12 to 15 yards. Ramsey pressure. Ball is out. And the Gophers might be on top. They are!
What a last 60 seconds for Minnesota. 